Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to create this carousel effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump into it. As you can see, this is the composition for this animation. All assets you will have in the description below. So you will have a composition you can follow me step by step. So as you can see, this carousel is a bunch of graphs. So if you do editing in finance niche or if you want to do some statistics animation looks like that, uh, today you will be able to create it by yourself. When you import composition to your software, it will look like that. So to fix that, I'll show you before how to import. So you need to go to file, import and fusion composition. And there you need to find location where you have that composition which you can download download from the google drive i provided then you need to upload them to media pool and as you can see here is this six files and we've got six graphs here so i need to go to this png and just put it down on the node which is media in first note is the media in on each column i leave it here and there is a question which you need to answer okay you need to do that with each of node and now you go back to normal, you, you will see all composition fully worked. Let's go now to the edit page and I've got a new fusion composition. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump uh, straight into this composition and I'm gonna create this animation for you from scratch. So you can follow me step, step by step. Let's select all the clips, all the graphs, all these PNGs. I'm gonna delete all these merges and I want to just create no tree with one graph. I'm gonna view that on the left. Let's close media pool first. Let's grab background and connect this media into the background, this media and let's select merge and type in one. And as you can see, size is different, is uh, lower than this resolution. To fix that, we're gonna select media and I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in shift space and find resize. And here I'm gonna check auto resolution and now this picture fit to our Canva. Next step, what I wanna do is select this clip again and I wanna type in Luma key. I'm gonna select the second one and I'm gonna grab the speaker, click here on the white space. So we removed all white colors from the graph. As you can see, it doesn't look good. There's some sharp edges here. What I wanna do, I want to go to matte finest and go with clean black to the end. Maybe not the end, maybe just a little bit okay and clean white a little bit as well or maybe zero we'll see okay let's see zero zero five maybe a little bit like that so it looks smoother and go with blur radius okay. and now it looks better for me go with ratio down and i'm gonna jump to number two and here i'm gonna go down with highlight and it looks way better now Okay, maybe we need to fix that as well. So we need to go to number one and go with maybe black or white. I'm not very familiar with this Luma Kia. I don't use it very often, sometimes only. Okay, so we need to go to highlight and put it up like that. Just play around with that as I do. Okay, I think we, we don't need this information actually. This is just a fact. So it needs to look good. We don't, it doesn't need to be readable in my opinion. So let's put highlight up. And I think I'm happy with that. Next step, let's glow this up and I'm gonna add Dream Glow to this. And this is my settings for Dream Glow. So you can download this tool for free. After watching this video, you can find the link in the description. You can download it and enjoy that for free. I'm gonna play around a little bit with Luma Kia because I'm not very happy with the result I achieved here. That looks way better. So you can copy these parameters. Let's put these nodes up. Let's put background here. And next step is image 3D, image plane 3D. There we go. Next one is transform 3D. And the last one is merge 3D. So when we select Merge 3D and type in one, we are in 3D space with this graph. And next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this, all of these graphs next to each other and select from Lumakia downwards to Merge 3D. Copy that, paste in here below each graph. And let's connect all media to Lumakia. From here, I'm gonna connect merges together and now I want to select the last merge, type in one. And as you can see, all the graphs are stick together. So I want to 
put them next to each other. I'm gonna go to before last transform. I want to go to controls and translation X. I want to type in minus one. And that's that went to just next to our last graph. And I'm gonna go to the next transform. I'm gonna type in, type in minus two and so on and so forth. And next one will be minus three and minus five, sorry, minus four minus four and the last one will be minus five and as you can see they are nicely next to each other and next thing is we're gonna add bender 3d and let's see that on the left as well and in this bender i'm going to go to axis x i'm gonna thick group objects and i need to go with amount so we're gonna go with amount that will be one so to the full i'm gonna go with angle i'm gonna put it down so that will be minus 90. And as you can see, our carousel is created. It's, it's as easy as that. And now we need to rotate that properly. So the next step is transform 3D. Okay, and let's see that on the left. If you rotate that, that's gonna go around the pivot. And we need to put the pivot inside the carousel. So I double click on Y and I'm going to pivot. And I want to play with not Y, but that's gonna be Z, am I right? Yes, that's gonna be Z. So let's see that from the top. And I want to play around with X and Z. So X will be minus two and a half, and Z will be, Z will be to, to be in the middle, it will be minus one. Okay, and now when you turn this carousel, so using rotation, it's turning straight. We can create a background to that. Let's do the background and add the camera and the rest elements for the 3D space. Let's convert it to 2D space. So from transform here, we're gonna go to add another merge 3D. The next one will be camera 3D. After merge, we're gonna add render 3D and we're gonna grab background. Let's grab alpha to one. That's gonna be black background. And let's connect this render to the background and let's connect that to the media out. And now when we go to this merge, uh, as you can see, camera is far from this carousel. So we need to adjust camera to see that properly. Actually, we need to get the camera far from that. So that's gonna be put, pull it camera out and move this camera to the left. So now the graph is visible on the right side so we need to pull the camera more make more distance so what i want to do i want to change the pivot of camera let's go with this pivot to let's make this window bigger and i want to go with this pivot to the middle of the fender so that will be minus four as you can see that's about in the middle here maybe not exactly so we can go further it's like that okay and now when we rotate the camera using this and now as you can see we can have this effect which i showed you at the beginning of the video so let's make it even smaller and go down with y and simply now to rotate again so you can use this transform 3d go to the left and animate from here go to the end of the animation and just rotate it as much as you want when you play it's it's it will be choppy as it is in my case so i think of high quality and motion blur uh what else you can do we can go to playback and change time resolution quarter so that will be a bit blurry but you can see effect okay, it's very choppy so it's heavy my computer is not bad but it's, it's very heavy so that's 3d so it need to, needs to be the best practices uh, you can go back to full go back to the go back to the edit page and start from here let this let's go with playback render cache smart and just leave it and as you can see it's rendering now so now when you play it you can see it goes like that it looks nice in my opinion yeah shiny nitty yeah i like it okay that's it guys thank you very much for watching if you would like to learn more about fusion and especially in 3d space how to create composition in 3d space watch this video next see you there guys